Hey guys, how are you today? So I just wanted to pop on really quick and tell you about some new stuff I've got listed in the Etsy shop. Now, years ago, I did a lot of embroidery. I still do occasionally. I like to embroider when the mood strikes me. But I... <laughs> I also used to sell at a shop and I just like art supplies so I have way too much hoarded of everything and one of the last few things I'm um, decluttering and clearing out and getting rid of in my hoard is some of my embroidery supplies specifically um, some of these cocktail napkins and I also have some tea towels I'll show you um, these are from Sur La Table. they're um, sets of six cocktail napkins they're 10 by 10 cloth napkins brand new in the box just like you see this. Um, I have quite a few of them. There's going to be a listing for them in the Etsy shop. The original price was $14. Now I didn't pay that. I know I didn't because I got them on clearance but I don't remember how much I did pay because you know it's been that long. Um, but they're not going to be anywhere near that price. They're going to be super affordable because I just want to make them go away. That being said these are great still to do little embroidered um, designs on and you could give them as Christmas gifts. Christmas I know is coming. You could also paint a little design on with fabric paint. If you wanted you could use them for rags in your art room. Once you own them you can do whatever you want with them. Um, I took a bunch of them and I have a lot of them and I put little, let me adjust the camera thing so I can see what you're saying. There we go. So I did different, I have all different theme designs. I have some with just these flourishes on them, some that have different vegetables on them. I have a whole series of them. I did one whole set that has birds. I just honestly just grabbed a few off of the top of my stack over by where I have them sitting. Yes, we do use cloth, cocktail, and regular napkins in my house. We don't often use paper towels or, or paper napkins, to be honest with you. So, they, as you can see, they're just simple, straight, running stitch, and um, so this one has some French knots on it, but real simple, clean, nothing complicated, right? Real easy designs. So, if you want to make something like this, or maybe you want to paint on it, maybe you want to use fabric pens on it to doodle on it, any of those things will work. Here's a brand new set of plain six napkins. They are for sale in my Etsy shop, super cheap. All right, and I also have ugh, a bunch of these. <laughs> these are tea towels. Now these are old. I got these from some, another artist who retired and stopped crafting. I'm sure they were white at one time. I'm not positive. They may have always been off-white, to be honest with you. I do believe each one of these bundles is a dozen. I won't be selling them that way. I'll be selling them by individual towels. They measure after they're washed about 36 by 27. I do recommend with the napkins and the towels that you wash them before you do anything with them. And this is one that I actually washed last night. I took one of my stencils from my design line and I stenciled a roll of the citrus across the bottom. Isn't that super cute? With some random fabric paint I happen to have laying around in my art room. You could use art paint artist quality paint or craft paint and add textile medium to the paint. That'll make it adhere to the fabric and also make it washable. So you could do that if, uh, if you have some textile medium or you can get it in the craft paint department in a small bottle. Um, <clears throat> so, and once you do that, you can paint on the towels or the napkins. You also, of course, like with the napkins, you could use these as rags in your art room. These are um, all cotton. They wash really nicely. This is, like I said, this is what I just did and um, I just stuck it in ink, but that's okay. <laughs> um, anyway, so here you go. Here you have it. The listings for these are in the description below. Plus here's one. It's wet or I would, um, I would, you know, fold it and I wouldn't have it laying out flat, but it's what I literally just did it. So anyway, here you have it. This is something you can do with some stuff I have laying around. Make some great Christmas gifts with it. I have both of these blank, not decorated. So they're blank. The ones in my Etsy shop are not going to be decorated. Um, but I have the blank ones listed in my shop. Um, you can get some and then decorate them um, however you like and give them out as Christmas gifts or use them in your own house. Um, 
Check out the video description for the listing and a bunch of other information, including my happy mail address, my tip jar link and all that stuff. Don't forget the most important thing, and that is to go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.